Okay, so there's my car parked under the overhang. Looks like people have got a lounge up there with a window seat. That looks nice. Better get out here before I get in trouble. Oh, still vehicles coming on. So I'm going back towards the ramp where I actually came on. There it is. That's them done. And just for your bearings, there's a stair here. One on the other side as well. Yeah, both sides. So that's easy. We've got a decent stair up. It's not as steep as the one in Caledonian Isles. It's got good handrails on both sides. It feels a lot more easy to get up this stair than the one on, the, on a regular vessel. Okay. Just have a look in here. Open this door. Okay, we're into accommodation there. So what I'll do, I'll go up onto the very top just now, I think. Just have a look up there as well. Thank you. <laughs> right, cheers. Okay. Right, so isn't this nice? So we've got an open deck here walkway going right round to seating on the top on the very top floor enclosed seating in there and more open seating coming right round like big balconies really very nice that's the door up hello doggy friends hello hello you're a good dog <laughs> Okay, just have a quick look at our draw scene before we go. I'll pan round. Nice day for it as well. No breeze, hope you can hear me. So the engine's starting up now. We'll just stay here for a wee second until we get going, I think. Tony, that's it. Sorry yeah. for the camera. I'm filming things today. <laughs> it's an exciting, exciting time. Yes, sir. <laughs> May I welcome you on board MV Arflet for your sailing today. We'd like to advise passengers that the stern door is closed and the vessel is secure for free. Time of passage will be approximately one hour. Would you please pay careful attention to the following safety announcements? <laughs> <laughs> They're always laughing. The guys that load the boat are just always laughing. They're enjoying themselves here. Okay, it's just starting to move away from the berth now. Good getaway. This vessel can go slightly faster than MP Calder and Nails. Um, a, few, a few knots. And it can certainly do the journey in the same time uh, across, maybe five minutes less. So it's not having a problem keeping up to schedule at all. Nice and smooth. There's really not even any big increase in noise or juddering. This, this is like Rolls Royce smooth, to be honest. There's no perceptible um, feeling of movement here. It's just gliding. Like, yeah, a bit like a glider. It's very smooth. Really very smart. I guess it's because it's such a new vessel. 
like the look of this little marina here as well. It's nice, isn't it? Of course, once we come out of the berth, it will start to gain speed. There we go. The engine's firing up properly. over there, just about going past, and in the background of course, I'll just hold the camera up a bit higher, the hills of Arran, I'll be busy in and then a wee bit, just for a second, hopefully you can see them. again this side since it's covered into view. Isn't that lovely? So yes, identical both sides of course, plenty of seating. I'm not feeling any movement at all in this boat. Maybe that's the thing about a catamaran, is it more stable? There's just no swaying at all. I guess it's just more planted. Good thing and a bad thing, depending on the conditions I suppose. Where I'm going next. Thanking you kindly. Go, all right. <laughs> all right. Sitting area. This is smart, isn't it? This is like our observation lounge in McAldrew Niles. Oh, let me shut the store up. Better do that. There we go. I'll look down at the car deck here. Well, getting away quite fast now. That's the thing. It's got a good turn of speed, this vessel. Nice and modern, four years old. I was saying it takes 97 cars down there. No race decks at all. Doggy We'll have a look down this stair next, I think. Well, unlucky wee doggy. <laughs> no roast beef or sausage this time. The Sun Deck Lounge, okay. So I've gone down one floor here. See what we're coming across. Okay, I've come down the middle of it. There's a soft play area up there. We'll just have a look, I think. That's the soft play. And then plenty of seats up here. Lots of seating. And into another area of seating beyond which we will now go and have a look at. Well, that was the blue area, the red area rather. This is into the blue area. Hello. 
Now these ones are more comfortable. Cloth, cloth seats. These are like our aircraft seats from the Calzone Isles. Very nice. This is smart. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the same on the other side. I'll have a look. Purses office if you need it. And down here is the toilets. So now you know your way around. If you do come on, that's where they are at the end of the blue seats. And we'll go back up and around, I think. Just check it's the same on the other side. This is nice, isn't it? Okay, I don't think there's a... Oh, there is a door at the end there. So that's where I'll go. Because we came in this door on the left, Sun Deck Lounge. But I've seen people coming out of here. Is this our way across the other side of the boat? Yes, I think it is. Let's have a look around here. Okay, there's a lift. At some point that'll be working, but it's not working just now, so that's why it's got a chain on it. Like I said, the stairs weren't too difficult. They were a lot easier than the other vessel. But of course, that'll only... Some people will manage that, some won't. Okay. Right, so this must be the cafeteria serving area I suppose. There's all the cutlery and everything there. I'm just coming over to the other side of the boat now. Yep, another area of seating just the same as the other side. Massive area of red seating followed by the blue seats. The only thing I'd say this side is much quieter. I'm gonna go down. Um, so that might be a trick. Maybe everybody comes off automatically, like I did, and comes off onto the other side of the boat. Um, something about going clockwise and anti-clockwise. Like the rotating door we've got at the Brodick Terminal. Everyone seems to know the ones that understand rotating doors, and there are one or two that don't, by the way. They get stuck, <laughs> amazingly. Um, then it goes anti-clockwise. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, we've got toilets up there as well, so there you go. Toilets are at the back of the boat. Um, at the side where you drive one where the door is. It's lovely and quiet. So, everybody's got off, got on the boat on the same side as I did, and nobody's come on this side. wonder if that happens all the time. This may be the quiet side of the boat. Okay. Snack bar, it says in there. Yeah, so that's your serving area in there. I think we've seen everything. I'm not sure I actually go. Yeah. I haven't gone back up to the top on the other side. I know it's the same as the side we're on. I'll just find the door for that. I've gone past it, haven't I? Snack bar. Oh no, there isn't a door, so that's why that's why this area is quieter. There's no door to this area, stair down, like there was on the other side. That's why. I'm doubling back to where I was before. So everybody comes off the top deck and down onto this side here with the soft play. And that's why it's busier. Sorry, mate. All right. Yep. With that back corridor on the other side, but we don't have this stair. So this will always be the busier side of the boat. Okay, that's the lesson. I'm going back up and then I'm going to go over to the other side now on the top deck. Right here, back up in the opposite, what I'm calling the observation lounge. There is a toilet up here as well, by the way. There's a toilet right in the centre of this, this area here. And another door just the same as the other side. Let's get this. Quite stiff. Of course, it is because it's a 
safety door. I'm back here now. Windy, you probably can hear me. I'll just turn around to show you where we are. This yellow is a creek over there, you probably don't manage to make it out, but it is there. And that's us, that's where we started off. Down there, so, I came off the little blue car, that's under the overhang there, I went up the stair at the end, And you can come up the stair at this end as well. But all of that takes you into this area here, which I've named the observation lounge, but I don't think that's what we called. And then that takes you down one stair to the far side of the boat where my blue car is. And that's the side that will fill up first. So I'm on the quiet side now. And the far side's got the soft play. I think that's pretty much it. It was very easy to drive on this boat. Might be quite tight when you get two rows of cars under the overhang, that's the only thing I'd say. I'll need to make sure they've got small cars, so that would be the equivalent of the Mesdeck, I guess. Be small cars in there, not big Jeeps. Um, but anyway, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, Dave the Rave, roving the rock and beyond. Cheerio, cheerio.